Sheet summary within Smartsheet is a function that many Smartsheet users do not even know it exists, but it is extremely helpful when you have tons of data in a sheet and you want to summarize it. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's dive in. All right, let's go ahead and create that sheet summary. So I'm going to create a sheet from scratch so you can follow it all every step of the way. I'm going to create new. We'll call it test sheet B. All right, so I'm going to add in some dummy data here. Call this the budget. Call this column the actual. And we'll put in some dummy data here. And we'll do the same for here. We'll do like and the last one here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make these two columns currency and let's say we got you know we got our budgets and our actuals right here and maybe we want to see just the difference so we'll do a quick formula here equals we'll do budget minus actuals drag this down there we go, make this a currency as well. But maybe we, we wanna see the totals of the budget, the total of the actual, total of the difference, but we don't wanna actually show those totals on the sheet. We want it somewhere else. Well, that's where the smart sheet, uh, sheet summary comes into play. And that icon is found over to the right. So you got your ribbon on the left here and you got your ribbon on the right. The ribbon on the right, you're gonna hover your mouse over here where it says summary. And a, when you click on this, a panel is gonna open up. And this is where you put in your sheet summary. So to begin, you're just gonna click on the new field. And maybe we want, what is the total budget? Click OK. And then I'm just gonna do a formula. This is an easy formula we should all know. A sum formula and I'm actually going to click leave this panel open I'm actually going to click into the cells that I want to sum so I want to sum this entire column here so I'm just going to click on the first cell here delete the one do a semicolon the same thing delete the one and now it's the entire budget it's looking at the entire budget column right here and then I'm just going to click enter Gives me the number. Now, if I want to change this to a currency, I'm going to click on the three dots right here. I'm going to click go to currency, click United States. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. And there it is. And now I'm gonna do this again for the actual so you can see it a second time. So to add another field, you can either click new field right here, or if you click on these three dots, you can actually insert below, insert above. So insert below, we'll do total actual. Do the same formula. Do sum. Click it again. Now it's the whole thing. Click enter. Make this a currency. There you go. And that is how you do a sheet summary. Now, if you want to close this, you just click again and it hides it. If you want to open it anytime, you can click it. And what's cool is if you want to reference a sheet summary within a cell, maybe I want to do it way down here, you're just going to go ahead and click on this, click on the cell in the sheet summary, and it comes in as total budget. And notice that has a, a pound sign. That's how you know 
that this cell right here is coming from the sheet summary because it has a pound symbol next to it. So if I click enter, there it is. There's the exact same number. I'll make this a currency. Look at that. Again, I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to click on any cell. Maybe I want to do it here. And then I'm going to go to the sheet summary. I'm going to click on the cell. Oops, do that again. I'm going to click on the cell. Maybe I'll click here. I'm going to click on the cell here. Double click into the cell. Click in the sheet summary. And I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to type it in this time. Total actuals. I'm just typing in the name of this right here with the pound sign. Total actuals, bracket, and then pound sign. I'm going to do an equal sign right here at the very beginning. And look at that. It brings in this number. It's a currency. And again, all I did was I type in the name of the sheet summary cell. Total actuals, total actuals with a pound symbol after it, and it will bring in that information as well. So you can do it either way. You can have your information here, or you can also pull it back out and put it back onto your sheet. But this is nice for some people. They like their sheet summary to be hidden when they're working on things, and then every now and then they can take a peek. And the nice thing is with the properties, you can do a text, contact, date, drop down, checkbox, symbol. These are all the different uh, properties you can do for a sheet summary field. And in another video, which I'll cover, you can actually create reports that specifically look at the sheet summary cells. Instead of the rows, it's the sheet summary cells. So pretty cool stuff. Hope this was helpful to you guys and you enjoy the rest of your day. As always, take care and God bless.